Hello again, and congratulations for completing our five-day challenge. I would genuinely, genuinely, I would love to hear how you've got on this week. Uh, if you could share in our LinkedIn group, share in the LinkedIn group, what are your key takeaways? What are the things that have really resonated for you? We've covered five days of content. Some of it really will have landed and you'd have thought, you know, that is going to change my whole perspective on how I work, how I manage myself, my energy, how I help other people to do the same. But I'd love to hear what are those things that really landed for you this week? Hopefully you've got a key takeaway from each day of the challenge. And there are a couple of refinements you just want to make to the way that you're operating today so that it makes you feel more resilient over time and makes you more productive every single day that you're working. So do please send me a message. Let me know in the group. I'd love to hear how you got on and what, what difference it's making for you. Now, right before we started the challenge, I talked about the two areas that I specialize in, and that's sales training and coaching and leadership development and coaching, and, and how resilience and productivity really are a common theme amongst both of those roles. Because in both sales and in leadership roles, we find ourselves really at the, the, the pressure point of any organization. And if you're dealing with customers or you're dealing with teams, you, you know that those roles are higher pressure than any other roles. And there's some interesting statistics for many sales teams, as many as 60% of sales teams never receive any formal sales training. So they have training on the company, they have training on the products, they have training on the market, the customers, but how to sell, those products in that market to those customers. That's an area that is gray. So most salespeople try to figure it out for themselves. And what happens as a result is that they tend to go into a style that is more pitching. So they're pitching at customers. They might be building relationships, but then they're building relationships and then pitching their product and trying to persuade and cajole customers. And I, I know this from experience, personally having done it and having led sales teams where there'd been this gap in sales training. And that was the approach that was dominant go-to style. So what we do is take you through an in, an in, what we call an inspire consultative selling process. So we give people a structure that they can follow when they're in their sales interactions with their customers that help them to really start to understand the customer better, tune in and listen more carefully, learn how to ask really high quality questions, summarize for the customer, and then start to tailor their sales conversation to what that customer really needs. Then we teach really simple closing techniques. We teach people how to handle objections much more easily, much more around the customer and taking this coaching approach and consultative approach to customers, almost handling their own objections and then closing, making proposals and really starting to think about how they accelerate their own pipeline through referrals, testimonials and using the customers that they already have as loyal advocates for their business. Really, really nice, really nice program. If you're not in sales, if you're a leader, then we also have what we call our coaching leaders program, helping leaders who were former high performers became leaders because they were the natural choice for that role, but they have never been given leadership development. And most of the statistics show that after 80% of managers have never been formally trained in either management or leadership principles or techniques. And that's a massive gap. What it means is that a lot of business managers, business leaders are figuring it out for themselves. And, you know, we work on resilience productivity but if you're not actually trained in the fundamentals and hopefully you've learned that this week that once you get the fundamentals in place everything starts to connect and feel more uh, feel more easy feel better feel like you're actually following a structure that you know is going to deliver the results you want it's the same with leadership how do we create a step-by-step -step leadership approach that helps business leaders to connect with their teams formulate a plan Make sure they've got agreement to that plan, set really clear objectives, help people to, to really perform at their highest level and then coach them to that next level. And then work on development planning, help with succession planning, really strengthen the whole organization through a coaching-led approach to leadership. And we work through those two programs for sales training and for leadership development. They're absolutely transformational for the business teams that we work with. So if you, if you would like any more information on those, if you'd like just an exploratory conversation, there's a link to my calendar 
in the thread uh, that follows this video. If you'd like to have a conversation about what that might mean for your business, then do feel free to reach out to me. Uh, otherwise, a huge thanks, huge thanks to you for going through the program uh, and for your commitment to working through the full five days. Do get in contact with me and I'd love to hear your feedback on it. And if I can help you to either take your productivity and resilience to the next level or your leadership to the next level or your sales growth to the next level, then that, that's what we do day to day with our clients. I'd love to have a conversation about how that might help you to do the same. Very best of luck. And I look forward to seeing you hopefully on a one-to-one -one or on a future program. Take care and hopefully you'll strengthen your resilience and accelerate your own productivity.